What's up guys, Javin here bringing you another video. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not your genetics are a factor of your skill level in game. Let's hop right into it. These are all my personal opinions, so if you have different opinions, feel free to drop them in the comments. My short answer to this question is yes. End of video. Psych! Here's the reason why. There's lots of factors that go into being good at video games. I'll list a few. There's discipline involved, reflexes, understanding strategy takes lots of studying, and then there's obviously just going to be people that aren't interested in getting better, and they're never going to be able to compete with the people who have passion for it. So am I saying that people with the wrong genetics just won't be able to compete with people with the right genetics? Not exactly. Discipline, which is the most important thing to being good at video games, is something that you can just teach yourself. Some people just naturally have better discipline because of the way they were raised and taught, but it's something that you can learn and force yourself to practice. For example, to keep myself disciplined, I make a checklist, a to-do list every single day. Things that I want to practice, things that I need to get done, like videos that have to be made, stuff like that, and just forcing yourself to practice things you aren't already good at, like new guns in the game, stuff like that, you know? Those are things that you can force yourself to do. You just need to have discipline. You need to force yourself to snap out of that lazy habit and get crack a on things that need to be done. So if you're serious about getting good at gaming or becoming a YouTuber or anything like that, discipline is key. Now, when it comes down to reflexes, I feel like that's a lot to do with athleticism and it's a part of your genetics, but that just means some people will be able to learn the mechanics faster than others. It doesn't mean you can't learn them. You just might need to put in more time and that comes with discipline, forcing yourself to practice the stuff that you're weak at. It doesn't matter how fast you learn. Sure, like the pro players, they're gonna learn the new meta of each season faster than people who aren't as good as building new reflexes with new strategies and stuff like that. But the good news is Fortnite literally gives you like two months before tournaments start. So you have all that time to master the new meta and it really doesn't matter how fast you learn. It just matters that you take the time to learn it, however long that may be. And then people that don't really understand strategy as much as other people, all you gotta do is look up YouTube videos of people explaining strategies just like me. Some people may pick up those strategies faster without watching videos, but that doesn't really matter because you can just go watch a video and learn everything they already learned, you know? Easy peasy. So the short answer of is gaming genetic based is yes, but at the same time, there's so many resources to help push you to that next level and help push you past the things that maybe you weren't genetically built for. It can all be learned. So I guess the answer is really no, but in a sense, it's yes and no. The main point is though, it's not really fully genetic based. Anybody can learn to get good at a video game. You just gotta put in that grind, you know? Discipline yourself. If you guys have more to add, make sure to drop it in the comments, start a little conversation down there, and drop other topics that you want me to talk about. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this gameplay. Make sure you have a nice day, like and subscribe if you're new, and yeah, peace.